Good evening. You're watching Israeli News Live, and uh, it's, of course, December the 14th, 2022. I wanted to do, just do a quick news brief with you guys, kind of give you, bring you up to speed on what's going on. Uh, the Kremlin has confirmed that the Patriots will become a legitimate target of the Russian army there. Uh, that is, after there were meetings being held uh, about being able to deploy the Patriot battery missiles to Ukraine. Now, these, these batteries are already in Poland uh, now, and... Uh, but the Russian armed forces have said that if they enter into Ukraine, they will become legitimate targets. The NATO, Sec NATO Secretary General Ian Stoltenberg declared at the end of the first day of the meeting of the foreign ministers of war bloc in Romania that the alliance countries are considering supplying Ukraine with Patriot anti-aircraft missile systems. Uh, so I have to kind of wait to see how that's going to go there. I want to share this video here with you here. See if you guys really pay attention to what happens here. All right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back it up just a little bit. These are Ukrainian soldiers uh, inside Ukraine. I want you to watch what happens, and I'm just curious to see if you notice anything uh, unique about uh, in this video here, right? Here they are going, strolling down the streets here. They're going to point to an apartment building where a big blast bomb had gone right through the middle of it, and uh, I'm sure they'll say Russia did it. And, and of course, the Russia may very well have done it, but uh, the thing is, I don't know the answer to that. And, uh, and, of course, Ukraine is very well known for doing it. Now, watch what happens here. They bring this nice little bag to this guy here. Here you go, man. You're getting some nice supplies here. Uh, what, watch what happens here. I'm really curious if you notice anything in this. All right. Now, he's, now he comes the lady. He's going to give her a bag of uh, goodies there, right? Here we go. Here we go. Here's your bags of treats as well. Gosh, what a nice humanitarian thing to do, right? Such nice Ukrainian guys there. And uh, now, interestingly enough, too, it is Israeli bags, so it is uh, donations from Israel. But I want you to watch again here. Watch what happens here. He gives it to the guy. He thanks him for him. He's really appreciative that he gets a bag of, uh, you know, some supplies, some wealth, things that are needed. He's going to take it to his family, right? Uh, the lady comes up wearing the jacket, and then he brings her a bag of them, right? Here we go. Actually, it's a different lady. She's wearing a blue jacket. But what happened to the guy that was standing right there, right? The guy that initially got a bag. Where did his bag go? Are you serious? What did you do? Take the guy's bag? I mean, he looked really distraught over this. First, he looked happy because he got the bag of supplies. He seemed to be happy. Another lady comes up. She's going to give her a bag. But, of course, she's not the one standing there when he comes back. It's a lady in her blue jacket instead. She gets a bag of goodies. But the guy that got the bag originally now is left there empty-handed. Wow. I call that propaganda. I guess you guys do too, right? <laughs> so, anyway, upgraded Greek air base serves growing interest for U.S. drones. Uh, coming out of Defense News there, it says several U.S. MQ-9 Raptor drones have found a new base in a newly upgraded uh, Larissa Air Base in Greece as American military officials keep an eye on NATO's southern and eastern borders. Nice of them to be able to do that. Kind of put a little bit closer to Russia, just in case we decide to lob some attacks from a different angle there now this has been circulating i know a lot of people have already played this uh i don't think it's really real at this point but it is pretty doggone weird right uh they're talking about being able to have your baby born in a bubble i mean that's as weird as it gets that is weird right i mean surely sure <laughs> I'm sure somebody's going to tell me, Steve, this is not real. It's not happening. Uh, but I will tell you this, though. The mere fact that it's even being considered, even it's being considered, is pretty doggone strange, if you ask me. Um, Eco Farm, right? Wow. I don't know what to think of that. Uh, I just figured I'd throw it up there just so you guys would be aware of it. Uh, out of curiosity. This is another one I wanted to share with you. And, you know, when we talk about New World Order, One World Government, and a One World Religion, isn't it interesting when you look at this picture here with President Putin? 
He's, of course, got the Russian Orthodox uh, uh, priest there. He's got a Catholic priest over there to, the, uh, to, to his right, far left on your picture there. Uh, he's got Buddhist monks. He's got, of course, none other than the Chabad rabbi himself on his left. And I don't know what all these other these other two religions represent, but I'm sure something different as well. Kind of showing his inclusion, right? His very seemingly like a one world religion type of belief. The only thing he's missing is Pope Francis in the picture. Anyway, I have to wait and see <laughs> what 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 are we gonna have next, right? It's just getting weirder and weirder. Uh, I wanted to share this with you guys too, real quick, just uh, for for the sake of curiosity here. Um, I have told you guys a little bit about the new Navy map. And then I happen to run across this map here, uh, which is a map based on uh, as gl glaciers are melting and seas are rising. And I actually did a video on that over on Patreon. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe there. And by the way, don't forget to resubscribe here to our YouTube channel. They are suppressing our growth here so please make sure you're subscribed if not resubscribe hit the subscribe button again whatever you got to do right uh but also here this map here is very similar to the map the new navy map it's basically showing the rise in waters and we're looking at this happening a lot to do with the infrared uh energy that's coming in right now hitting the earth it's melting the ice ice glaciers it's going to rise the ocean um uh, uh, the, 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 the waters of the ocean and uh, of course but they're looking at more cl cl climatic events that will cause this but this map here is very similar to what I hear about in many briefings Florida completely gone east coast a lot of the east coast coast gone coastal cities across the United States uh, California pretty much getting knocked into the ocean there um, all along there except for the higher altitude areas and that's exactly what you see in the maps here. And you go on down, you can see Europe. Very similar situation, rising waters. You see South America, a lot of rising waters. That's why they always say if you live within 200 miles of the coast, you ought to move, you ought to consider moving, right? So I just want to kind of show that to you, just so you can see that. Also China, a lot of, a lot of damage to China. Uh, and of course, this is all based on probability. So no, it's not 100% guaranteed it's going to happen, that type thing. So please don't think that. I don't want you to go into that kind of mode of thinking. But, um, but certainly some, some events that could happen as a result. Uh, all the Iceland has melted and drained into the sea, raising 216 feet and creating new shorelines for our continents and inland seas. That's if all of it melted. I don't think all of it's going to melt. So I don't think it's going to be that drastic period. That's another reason why I say it's not exactly the way you see it. That's worst case scenario. Uh, and from what I hear, it's not all of Florida like they show on this map here, but the southern half, basically from Orlando south, is what they're looking at being gone. Uh, not as much as what they're showing right there. So uh, a lot less than what they're anticipating. Anyway, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening. Also, too, real quick, iConnectFX.com. One thing I wanted to share with you guys over here on iConnectFX. Uh, while I'm just thinking about it here real quick, we were able to add a new feature on our channel here. And um, I wanted to be able to share that with you for yourselves there. And uh, uh, just in the event that you happen to be one of our friends that are just mainly on iConnect, if you happen to click on a video on iConnect, uh, let me just do this one right here. Uh, we'll go up to play the video. Come on, where's the play button at, Steve? Did I check it? Oh, only one. There we go. Hit the play button. All right, now. Now, when you're on iConnect, if you want to donate, if you're running into problems doing it on our website or something like that, you can now donate directly from uh, from our uh, iConnect channel there. So we certainly appreciate your support and we want to thank you for that. It's just like going to our website. It'll just take you straight to our PayPal uh, donation place there to where you can do so. And uh, we just made it a little simpler there for people that are over on iConnect. Anyway, thank you for, for listening. We appreciate you and God bless you.